let's have a look at statistics basics. I'm going to enter statistics, which is number six. We're going to start with one variable. You've got lots of different choices. Linear regression, quadratic, natural log, exponential, base B exponential, power regression, and inverse. So we're just going to go ahead and choose one. Notice that our frequencies are turned on if we want to change that. Go into your setup. Toggle down, do stats, which is number three. If we turn it off, your frequencies are gone and they are assumed to be one. Let's go back and turn those back on. So we want to turn those on. Our frequency is going to default to one, so when we start entering our data, it defaults to one, but we'll be able to change that at any time. So there's a quick data set. Again, you can change those frequencies at any time if you would like. We're going to leave them all at 1. Let's see what options we have. You can select the data type, which we've already done. Go into the editor and make any changes. Look at one variable statistics. We'll have a look at that. Here's your mean, sum, sum of squares. We've got variances and standard deviations and population standard deviations quartiles, five number summary, min, max, etc. Using the back arrow, we can go back and go to stats calculations. Look at the options there. There's our data. One variable. So let's see what else we have down here. Summation. We can look at the summations. Again, that's the sum or the sum of squareds variations or different variables, maxes and mins, normal distribution, uh, normal distribution to the left, between two points, to the right, and t calculation. Uh, similar to z-score, but this one uses x minus x bar. So you start out with a number. So that number minus the mean of your data set divided by the population standard deviation will give you this T calculation. Let's go back to our options here. Toggle down. Those are, and we also have the normal distribution. And then we've got our variables that are available in all the screens.